whenever you start studying a new subject, um, one of the first questions that you should ask is, what is this subject about? What is the point? What should I be learning? So to answer the question, what is physics? Um, I think you would get a variety of answers depending on who you ask. So for me, the way I would answer this question is that physics is a study of the natural world. Physics is a science. And by that, I mean that we make hypotheses, we collect data, refine or reject hypotheses based on the data, and then iterate forever. Um, one of the other things besides just studying the natural world um, that sets physics apart from other subjects is, I would say, the high degree of math that we use. So um, a physicist's first tool for trying to understand observations and make sense of patterns is um, applying mathematics to that problem. Um, so the physics specifically that we're going to study this quarter is the physics of motion. Um, and there's a name for that. So the study of motion is called mechanics. The study of motion. Um, and we'll go into this study you know, in a lot of different directions. So we'll start out by just describing how things move and coming up with some tools to understand that. And then we'll look at why things move the way they do, um, what are the causes of motion, what are some rules that govern how things move. Um, and that will basically take us the entire quarter. Um, but that's not the only thing that shows up in physics. Physics has a lot of different areas, which largely seem unrelated at first, but they're connected by being natural phenomena, um, being really mathematical in the approach that we take to studying them, um, and so on. And, you know, physics really intersects with a lot of other kinds of science, too. Um, so if you go on to take 122, the focus of that will be electricity and magnetism. which again is also very mathematical. Um, it is the study of how electrons move, um, magnetic materials, um, and so on. So there's a lot of stuff that, that goes into that and that's why it takes an entire quarter. Um, in 123, if you take that, you'll learn about light and how it behaves, um, sound, a little bit about particles. Um, and in this case, by particles, I mean some of the weirder ones. So like how do photons work, how do electrons work and so on, just very superficially. Um, but there are other things that show up as well um, that we don't quite get to in the ordinary sequence. So for instance, understanding fluids um, or understanding um, the behavior of atoms when they're in a large group. So understanding like what's going on in a solid, for instance. Um, and additionally, physics interacts with lots of other kinds of science. So for instance, there's um, what's called atomic physics which is closely related to chemistry. So um, if you went to an atomic physics lab, you would not really be able to tell the difference between that and say a physical chemistry lab. Um, an area of physics that is relatively new is biophysics. So people, um, for instance, want to understand protein folding or um, how bacteria move or what's going on inside a cell um, in terms of you know, the motion of molecules or like how does a muscle cell work? And those things are largely physics related. Um, some other areas are astrophysics, for instance. So understanding how stars work, um, how galaxies move around, and all that sort of thing. So um, there's a lot of different areas of physics, and physics touches a lot of different topics, but I would say that these are the key parts. So we're studying natural phenomena um, very mathematically, and in this class in particular, largely we're studying motion.